Hey there, everybody. Welcome to HealthWell. When trying to lose weight, do you ever find yourself stuck, unable to lose weight, and sometimes even gaining weight in the process? Have you ever dieted and seen weight loss results, but then gained all the weight back? The long-term success rate for people who have lost weight is about 20%, but within two years, many regain more than half of that weight back. There are things unknown to most of us that we do during the dieting process that stop weight loss from happening. Here are some of the worst diet mistakes you are probably making that are making you gain weight. Number 1. Eating an insufficient amount of calories for your body Whether this be too many or too few calories, your calorie intake seriously affects your weight loss success. To maintain their current weight, males need approximately 2,000 to 3,000 calories a day, while females need 1,600 to 2,400. But everybody is different, and this is just an average estimate. Calculating your calorie needs is important in understanding what you need to do to lose weight. Weight loss comes from a calorie deficit, meaning that you need to consume a lower amount of calories than your daily average in order to lose weight. This doesn't mean you should drastically lower your calories, though. Eating too little calories can actually slow your metabolism to where you are unable to lose weight, making insufficient calorie intake one of the worst and most common diet mistakes. Number 2. Not tracking your macros and calories Macronutrients, also known as macros, are the grams of protein, carbohydrates, and fat you consume. These three classes of nutrients are what energize you. In addition to tracking calories, it is important to track macros to ensure you are making healthy choices and to see where your calories are coming from. Counting macros can help maintain muscle mass, preventing muscle loss when cutting, a term used for people undergoing a fat loss phase. It helps your body get the proper nutrients it needs and aids in losing stubborn fat. It is recommended that adults consume 10 to 35% protein, 45 to 65% carbohydrates, and 20 to 35% healthy fats. There are many macro and calorie calculators online that will help you figure out what your body needs and what is healthy for you as an individual. It is important to remember that you shouldn't deprive yourself. Number 3. Drinking your calories While it may be nice to have a sweet, cold, carbonated beverage with your dinner or a glass of juice with your breakfast, what you don't realize is the amount of sugar these drinks contain. One 355 milliliter can of Coca-Cola contains 39 grams of carbs and 140 calories, and one 240 milliliter glass of unsweetened orange juice contains 26 grams of carbs and 110 calories. And this is all coming from the sugar in the beverage. Whether it is added sugar or natural, drinking your calories is one of the biggest weight loss mistakes you can make, and you might not even realize you're making it. Thinking back to tracking macros and calories, if you do want to indulge in a sugary beverage, you need to count it in your daily macros for the day. Studies suggest, though, that your body does not register these calories as sustainable, leaving you hungry for more and therefore leading you to consume more calories overall. Number 4. Eating too much Do you feel like you often eat until you are so full it makes you sick? Maybe you heard that eating every few hours is a good way to prevent hunger and can help you lose weight, but you find yourself eating constantly. This mindset and way of eating typically result in consuming more calories than your body needs, leading you to actually gain weight and never quite feeling full. Eating too much is a common problem amongst dieters and often stems from not tracking caloric intake. Luckily, there are strategies to combat overeating. Start by removing tempting foods from your home. The saying, out of sight, out of mind, comes into play here. If you can't see it or have immediate access to it, you're less likely to give in to the temptation. Eat more protein-enriched foods. Food with a high amount of protein creates a lasting fullness. Foods you can consume include kefir and Greek yogurts, nuts and seeds, milk, lentils, meat, and protein powders. Drink more water to stay hydrated. The average adult requires four to six cups of water and even more if you are sweating. Drinking water has many benefits other than just helping you stay full, including ridding your bladder of bacteria, normalizing your blood pressure, providing your body with electrolytes, reducing inflammation, and much more. Sometimes you might think you're hungry, but you might just be dehydrated. Next time you hear your stomach rumbling, grab a glass of water before reaching for the pantry. Finally, and this might seem like a no-brainer, reducing stress can kick that overeating habit. Stress eating is a large contributor to obesity, and many people eat when they are stressed as a way to feel comfort. The raised hormones convince your body that it needs to eat. To reduce stress, try exercising regularly, do yoga or meditate, or take time to hang out with friends. Number 5. Partaking in Crash Diets The promise of losing 15 pounds in two weeks is an exciting idea. In most cases, this goal is unachievable and will leave you feeling worse about yourself than when you initially read that headline. 
A crash diet is any diet that promises you extremely quick results and often requires you to make drastic changes to your lifestyle and deprive yourself of basic needs. These diets come with serious repercussions when done too often and can cause long-term problems like depression, eating disorders, anemia, unregulated blood pressure, and even irregular menstrual cycles. They can even result in you putting on more fat and weight than you had before, making it even harder to lose weight. Instead of crash dieting, change your food eating habits. Replace chips with a bowl of fruit and ice cream with yogurt and granola. These small changes make a healthier body and a healthier mind. Number 6. Not Eating Intuitively The way most people approach dieting is by unrealistically limiting themselves to a strict caloric intake, cutting out all sweets and junk food, and forcing themselves into a strict exercising regime. This is an example of crash dieting. More often than not, these methods fail and you relapse into your old habits because of previously mentioned, this is one of the worst ways to try to lose weight. If you feel like this describes you, intuitive eating might be the method for you. Intuitive eating encourages natural weight loss through nurturing your body. It rejects the old dieting principles of starving yourself to see results as it has been proven that those methods do not work long term. To intuitively eat, you eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full and treat your body with respect. It is unrealistic to expect your body to change overnight and respecting your body at the size and the shape it is at the moment is crucial for intuitive eaters. This style also includes participating in movement. It encourages you to focus on how working out makes you feel rather than seeking fast results. It also encourages you to not feel guilty for having that one snack or one meal that you wouldn't normally. It prioritizes progress over time. Number 7. Avoiding Weightlifting and Resistance Training Lifting weights promotes significant weight loss while also building muscle to give you that toned look you see in magazines. It increases your metabolism, helping you burn more calories, making it easier to lose that stubborn weight. If you feel intimidated by jumping right into weightlifting, there are other forms of resistance training you can use to get started, such as bodyweight training. Think push-ups, squats, and planks. These require little to no equipment, and you can easily do them at home. When you feel comfortable about lifting weights, you can move into using free weights like dumbbells, kettlebells, and medicine balls. You might even have these items at home, and if not, you could use other items that equal the weight you want to lift. And don't forget about weight machines. These are the big machines at the gym that intimidate many newer gym members, but once you learn how to use them, you will reap their full benefits. Number 8. Not changing your workout routine You've been going to the gym for a while and working out consistently. At first, you were seeing great results, then suddenly you stop making progress. This means it is time to change your workout routine. If you predominantly focus on cardio, add in resistance training and vice versa. Focus on the different muscles you want to target and find new exercises to work them. Increase your weights and do fewer reps or even decrease your weights and do more reps. Your body will recognize the changes and take the challenge. Number 9. Overestimating how many calories you burn while working out It is normal for people to overestimate how many calories they've burned through exercise and to act accordingly. You might think you've burned 500 calories during your workout and treat yourself to a fast food meal equal to that amount. But in reality, you've only burned 250 calories. Having a way to track the calories you burn during the day can prove beneficial to avoid overestimating how much you've burned. Investing in a fitness watch or using an app to approximate your calorie burn could make the difference between you losing weight and gaining fat. Number 10. Focusing on the scales Expecting quick weight loss and obsessively checking the scales is a massive mistake in dieting. A good rule of thumb is to weigh yourself once a week when you wake up and after you've used the restroom. Checking the scale more frequently than that can be damaging to morale, as your weight can fluctuate up to 4 pounds within a few days. There are several factors that cause weight fluctuation, including water retention, muscle gain, and even the amount of food and liquid you've consumed that day. Which one of these dieting mistakes have you made? Let us know in the comments. Here are two more videos you might find interesting. Feel free to choose the one you like. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share the video with your friends. And for more interesting videos on health, subscribe to the channel.